Ghana, right? Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises, all honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Bashim, Raka Kadash. The one who said, I was in a post of great most on Shalom to the overleg. Hope this video will be edifying. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now, <clears throat> topic that I want to be talking about today is don't be, don't be, don't be jealous or don't envy the wicked man. You know, because they're going to get their reward, you know. Don't focus yourself too much on them. Yes, you can be angry, you know. But don't let that consume you, you know. Like the scripture says, uh, don't let your anger, don't let your anger. Uh, let me actually get it, you know. Uh, let me see. Yeah, roughly paraphrasing that scripture. Don't let the don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. You see, so you shouldn't make it go on until the next day, man. That you're still angry and stuff like that. You know, you're supposed to be giving it a place, like it says in uh, Second Ezra. You know, put off the mortal thoughts. You know, put put off put off those mortal thoughts. Why? Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to stress you too much, man. Give it, a give it a place in your head, you know? Give it a place so you can just um, basically keep on pushing, man, and move on, you know? Set, uh, uh, put off the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture also, you see? You know, which is in 2nd Ezra. That, that shows you like, hey... We're supposed to be giving these things a place, man. Don't keep on meditating upon things that's going to make you very angry, you know, because those are just, it's good, but you also have entities in your mind, you know, fuel, fueling your emotions, man, you know, amplifying your emotions, you know. Now you're angry, now you don't want to do this, or now you don't want to do that, you know, which in the long run, it won't benefit you man as if if you just give it a place then you just you just cool again you're normal you know so yeah man but it's it's good to be angry you know at the wicked but don't be envious and don't be jealous over them man because they're gonna get their reward look this is what the scripture says first Peter 4 and 17 for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, Yahbashim Yashah. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? You see, so if judgment must begin at the house of Israel, you know, it must begin at the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, uh, Native Americans, you know, that's where judgment begins first. What's going to happen to these other nations, man? If we're going to get judged first, what's going to happen to the other nations, man? It's going to be worse for them. You see? And if the righteous... Look, look, look. Also, it begins at us, man. You know? The people that... Uh, the most High going to look at the people that actually doing his work and not doing his work, man. You know? So, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel, you see? If you don't obey the gospel, you want to be wicked you you just want to do what you want to do you want to be rebellious and stuff like that the most i got got something for you also man you see but he's gonna start at jake first you know that's why as soon you're gonna see a lot of two-third niggas die man because they wicked you know they stubborn don't want to listen rebellious you see prideful you know verse 18 and if the righteous scarcely be saved where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear you see so if the righteous already scarcely gonna be saved so they gonna make it just in time how about the wicked then man the wicked ain't gonna have no chance man you see so don't don't worry too much about the wicked man you you might as well just focus put that energy and focus it on you man what can I do to benefit the body more? You know, study, go, going to study with brothers, make videos with brothers. Salak, yeah.
Uh, yeah, man. I'll call him back. Yeah, man. So go going to studies with brothers, you know, make videos with brothers, you know, or just make videos in general, which will uh, edify the body. You see, focus on those kind of things, man. Because look, they gonna get their reward, man. Now they they living good and lavishly, you know. They got their their riches or their house is in order, you know. Their wife is submissive and stuff like that. But uh, their children doing good, you know. But soon, that's all gonna stop, man. Soon that's all gonna stop. Because they're gonna be the same ones to be committing cannibalism, man. These heathens, you know. As well as two-third wicked jakes, man. Because they have it good right now. But there's come, gonna come a time where Jacob trouble hits. And it, and it ain't gonna be good no more, man. That's when you really gonna see the walking dead, man. You see? So this Psalms chapter 37 and 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. You see? So don't fret yourself, man. Don't make yourself angry, like overly angry, man, because of them. Because they, they, they eventually gonna get their reward, man. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Don't envy them, man. Because you, you don't know their lot. You see? You just see, like, it's for example in the sea, you know? You only see the upper layer. You don't see how deep the sea really is, you know? You just, you just see only the, the top part of it, you know? Well, that's the same way with these people, man. You only see when it's going good. Just wait until it goes bad, man. When the Mosai Yabashim Yashai go and visit them. Then we then you need to check. Then you're gonna be like, damn, hey nah man. I'm glad I'm uh, I'm not I'm not them, you know? Or I wasn't acting like them, you see? Uh verse seven. Rest in the Lord Jehovah and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass you see it says be fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way you see that hey don't be envious man don't make yourself angry because hey they doing good right now like i said they're gonna get their reward man first eight cease from anger and forsake wrath fret not thyself in any wise to do evil right don't start doing dumb shit now because you angry man you know don't because they they basically they live in good now all of a sudden you want to follow that lifestyle also you have a lot of dumb idiots that uh basically forsake for forsook this truth man only for some riches, you know, dudes talking about some, yeah, I'm gonna find myself, I need to find myself. Shit like that, man. Gone, out of the wind. Left this truth for, for a bunch of folly and nonsense, man. So, don't be like that, man. You know, don't be like that because, listen, the Most High, he has a... Uh, made example made made an example out of these people of how not to be you know so yeah man don't follow after them because look dudes like that you know they forsake this truth for some riches or something like that or they want to do what they want to do in their life they don't want to follow yabashim Rasha anymore they want to so-called be free and stuff like that those be the same ones that entities gonna leap upon once they they forsake this truth man you see which is their problem but uh hey man verse 9 for evil doers shall be cut off but those that wait upon the lord jehovah by shimia shai shall inherit the earth you see so just wait man be patient wait don't take matters into your own hands like Yahweh Shai said vengeance is mine you see so just wait patiently because that time will come man 
understand for yet a little while and the wicked shall not be yeah thou shalt diligently consider his place and it shall not be you see but if you look into the world right now you see like hey they're living good man and it's and it's a long time that they've been living good man but soon it's gonna come come to a stop man they ain't gonna be no more you know jake is going to rule pretty soon man Ain't no heathen ruling anymore after this kingdom, man. That said the Bible, that said the most high Yabashim Yashai, man. You know? Once Yahushai comes back, anyone that doesn't want Yahushai to rule over them will be slain, man. Simple like that. So yeah, man, I hope this video was edifying. I want to give all praise and honor glory to Yahweh Bashim Yashai Bashim Rakakadash. The bonus to the elders and apostles of great Muslims. Shalom to the Ophelek. Hope this video was edifying and shalom.